Okay, so in this lesson we're going to go through some of the main methods of 3D. So we'll start off with this one which is called parallel pair. Now the way that this works is there's a left and right image that have been taken from slightly different angles. So if we're doing this in Maya there'll be a stereo camera that'll take two rendered images from different angles. But you can also do it in real life with a camera obviously. So the way that it works is this is the left image and this is the right image. And you have to diverge your eyes which means there's an imaginary point in the distance and you've got to look at it so your eyes are almost parallel and your left eye will be looking at this your right eye will be seeing this image and in the middle your eyes will merge these pictures together and you'll see a 3D representation of it but the only downside of this is diverging your eyes can be quite stressful on the eyes and to do this for a long time and especially if this was a, a video file like moving about it'd be quite hard to concentrate and keep doing that so it's good, f good for images and it gives a true 3D colour because you don't need glasses but it's not very good for film. Now the next method is called cross convergence and this is quite similar to the previous one in that you've got two images taken from different angles but they're on the opposite side so the left eye has to look at the right image and the right, right eye has to look at the left image and to do that you have to cross your eyes and in the middle you get the 3D image. Now this is a little bit better as in nature looking at close objects you sometimes cross your eyes but it still puts straight on the eyes. You don't need glasses so it's a full 3D, full colour 3D, but it won't be good for any sort of video. So the next method is anaglyph, and this is the main one we're going to be going through in these few training lessons. So the way that anaglyph works is there's a red, red filter and a cyan filter, and on the screen there'll be, again, two images merged together, but one will have a red channel filter, and then the other will have a cyan filter. So to show that we've got this image of the lion again and as you can see like especially this piece of paper here there's a red image and then to the side the cyan image and if you have some anaglyph glasses if you put them on and close your right eye so you have the red lens open you can see this image here quite clearly but you can't see the cyan side so much so this means the left image is only going to your left eye and again if you close your left eye you can see the cyan channel so it's a way of sending two images so sending your left image to your left eye and the right image to the right eye now this works quite well you don't have to diverge your eyes or anything like that but again because you're using some filters it does remove some of the color information and especially if you had an overly red image or overly cyan image you would lose some of that because you wouldn't be able to see it in the other eye but this is a good method and this is the main method we're going to go through in the next few lessons. So another method is called shutter glasses. And the way this works is you have a pair of glasses like this and they're either mechanical or they've got some sort of LCD screen over the lenses. And the way that it works is the flick backwards and forwards. So for a split second this is blacked out and your right eye is open. Then this blacks out and your left eye is open. And the way this works is this is in sync with a screen that flicks backwards and forwards between the left and right image. Now this is a full 3D colour because there's no sort of filters going involved. But the only problem with this is because it's mechanical it needs some sort of battery and that means it's quite expensive to make or keep. So it's not very green cinema if it's going to be used by one person. And because these two lenses flick on and off and the screen flicks on and off they have to be in sync. So there have to be some sort of infrared or cable connecting them to keep them in sync. But this is a really good method, but it's not very used. It's not very used because it's quite expensive. The next method is called polarization. And the way this works is there's a polarized filter on the lenses. So on one of the lenses there'll be these small lines going down all across the lens, and the other lens they'll be going across. And the way this works is there'll be two projectors in the cinema that will have a corresponding filter on the front of the projector and they'll be projecting the images so the left image will only go to the left eye but one downside to this is as you can see it's like really colourful background as it goes in front of the lens it dulls it down a little bit as you can see the way that it works is there's two waves of light so these could be the two different projectors so if this is like the left projector the blue line that will go through the left lens on your glasses but it will cancel out the red line which is the right image from the right projector 
and then through the other, other lens, the slit will be horizontal. So that's the way that it cuts out the image. But the only downside to this is if you tilt your head, obviously you're tilting the filters, which will break the effect. Now, another type of polarization is called circular polarization. And you probably, this is the most common, and you've probably, if you've been to the cinema, heard of Real D or Real D Cinema. The way that this works is, is exactly the same as the previous one, except the filters are lines, the circular polarized. And there's two projectors again with the same filters on top. And this means you can tilt your head whichever way and you'll still get the 3D effect. The only problem with this, this makes it a bit more expensive. So it's not very good in home use or everyday use, but for cinemas it's quite good. And this is probably one of the most popular at the moment. But as we said, in these next few training kits, we're going to go through the anaglyph which is a really easy way to make home cinema and internet use. So, thanks for watching.